Hey everyone, here's a recap of the mid-journey office hours from April 19th. And if you want to hear me talk more about AI and the future of this technology, you can tune into my podcast on my other channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Back to the recap. The team launched two new styles for Niji Journey. One is expressive, which is a western and 3D kind of look. The other is cute, which is super cute. David said he likes to use the describe feature with Niji Journey to get some pretty cool prompts. The Mid Journey magazine should be shipping in the US this week and internationally next week. They are running behind on features, mainly version 6. Version 5 aesthetic stuff is coming soon. They are working on personalized aesthetics and working on crazier features. David said they're experimenting but they don't even know if they're even good ideas. Time will tell. They might not bring back free trials. The abuse has gone down without them and it's helped them out a lot. They are still dealing with credit card fraud though, and the team is working through more GPU shortages. They're actually exploring ways to automatically divert resources because right now a lot of shortages happen when their engineers are sleeping. That makes sense. And the team actually wants to release new features, but new features would cost more GPU power and they just aren't available in the real world right now. So there might be a small limitation to what is actually currently possible. He briefly discussed the idea of two models in the future, fast and expensive. That sounds kind of crazy to me. Hard to imagine what that would look like. He mentioned that being an option rather than having one model that needs to work for everyone. So maybe you experiment and try a bunch of different prompts in fast and then move over to the expensive version when you're trying to fine tune it perhaps. I don't really know. They are researching more controllable features, which basically just means a consistent color palette or style, and the progress on those features would eventually lead them to having consistent characters in different scenes. But really, they're thinking more about storytelling, and if a new feature can help with storytelling, that is more compelling to them. He briefly mentioned new Discord features coming soon, but did not elaborate. There will be an expanded web beta eventually, and for for those of you who don't know, you'll be able to make images on the website as well as have access to more social features. They have also been hiring new team members and David sounded pretty excited about what the next six months could hold for their team. They're also trying to separate member support into different groups, being moderation, learning, and billing. We might see the new moderation system in the next week. David said he'd like to try it out for 24 hours so they could figure out what works and what doesn't. There there are two goals with the new system, to prevent blocking things that are obviously okay but used banned words, and to block things that are malicious but didn't use any specific words. He did provide a little update on what we can expect. He said that this new system seems to block around 4% more than the old system, which means it will block prompts that were previously not blocked. So out of 100, 96 will be okay. Four of them might catch you off guard and be banned. However, the new system also blocks around 80% less than it did before, which means prompts that used to be blocked now are not. So there's your trade-off. We're going to lose about 4% of what used to work, but regain around 80% of what currently doesn't work. I hope I'm not misrepresenting those stats, but it sounds kind of exciting to me. And they might combine the old and new systems where you can appeal one of your prompt bands to a larger AI, and I think that sort of system will really help with clarity and peace of mind. There's your recap of the Mid Journey Office Hours. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time.